My name is Mike, and this is The Hot Seat. On The Hot Seat this morning is President Hussein's Green Job Agenda Busted Again. Do you folks remember Solyndra? The hundreds of millions of dollars to this retarded energy company that appled up and which the stimulus package they received was uh, guaranteed. Well, remember the State of the Union address. I'm going to create green jobs where we'll have cleaner, more efficient energy, better jobs, and a stronger future for America. Applause. Uh, well, folks, another green company bites the dust. Enner One. E N E R and then number one. So you people don't think that I stuttered. It's an electric car company that the Obama administration awarded $118 million in the stimulus grant to expand its operations, has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection Thursday after being unable to repay pressing debts. What a surprise. The news comes one year after Vice President Biden visited the company's new battery plant in Indiana to highlight its progress with federal funds. Enner One is the third company to seek bankruptcy protection among those the Energy Department backed part of the President's signature program to invest in clean energy. Solyndra, a California solar panel maker and Beacon Power, a Massachusetts energy storage firm, entered bankruptcy court proceedings in the fall after having received taxpayer guaranteed loan of $535 million and $43 million respectively. One of Enner's key struggles has been its reliance on one, one financially troubled customer. One customer, a company called Think. The Norwegian car maker filed for bankruptcy protection in June of 2010. Folks, you probably don't know it or not, because I doubt any of you uh, really watch the news much. Uh... We were on the hook for several billion dollars in stimulus gifts to the green energy companies that President Hussein took it upon himself to take your money and just give it away. Folks, I got to tell you. If your eyes aren't open, you're going to be hit by a brick into your forehead one day. President Hussein and his socialist friends are busting out America into third worldism and is killing your future. My question to you people out there is how long are you just going to sit idly by watching Kim Kardashian, watching The Bachelorette, while your country, your politicians are laughing at you? There are countless stories of the bullcrap this guy is handing us. We're going to make Americans pay their fair share. 36 of his top executives haven't paid federal income taxes. They're late. But you don't care. You people give Obama a 47% approval rating. I think you morons should have to quantify your your approval by writing, if you can write, a 200-page essay, no, 200-word essay, excuse me, 
on why President Hussein gets your approval. And I bet you can't write 200 words. Because he's done nothing. You know, the shape of this country isn't really Hussein's fault. Really isn't Washington, D.C.'s fault. It's your fault. The most dangerous politician is the ignorant American voter. My name is Mike. This is the hot seat. Fight gold, fight gold!